so let's have the final part of uh, this lesson. Um, in this part, I'm just going to quickly go over a few things, a few things that you've got to do, and also I guess I'll show you how to at least use some of these controls or create one or two of them. Uh, the video won't be long. Obviously, if you've looked at Reaction Manor, the previous video correctly, then none of this should be a problem. Um, so that's why I'm not going to go into it in too much depth, merely show you how it translates across. Um, so first thing to show you is this. Obviously it's uh, a slightly more built up version of what you've seen in the last video and it's all aimed at controlling all the points, um, our bones, our facial bones. Um, some of them are kind of obvious, uh, some of them are completely not, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, there's two ways of doing this, right? My one way is this way, and it kind of looks very technical, you know? It's, um, uh, you know, kind of just to the point. But some people make it look pretty, and they make create an entire head, and, uh, you know, they move the jaw which is an actual jaw, and it will move the one on the character. Um, that's fine. Uh, if you you know if you can be bothered to do that, then that's fine. I've never found it practical enough, you know, or practical enough reason to do it. Um, but yeah, I guess it's you know pretty for an artist, I suppose. Um, but you know this does the trick, and it kind of uh, it makes other things easier. You know, for instance, obviously these are quite clear, you know, to control the eyebrow and the eye and upper eyelid and the lower eyelid. Um, we should notice that obviously I've only need needed, I haven't needed the across X axis, I've only needed the Y axis because I'm only controlling up and down for them. Um, but we also got the jaw, which you can see can move in all directions because I wanted it to sort of be, you know, to be able to sort of open, say for instance if you were yawning, you know, your mouth goes sort of your jaw drops and goes from left to right. Oh I think we do it now <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Um I bet it's made you just do it too. Anyway <laughs> um we've also got uh this one which is the uh, some reason I've got happy twice there. Okay, well this was supposed to be smile, but I'm glad I've got to show you that because you can uh, create text boxes, which is something I didn't show you in the last video, and uh, you know drag them in. Uh, for some reason, it's because I'm obviously not in front view. If I do that. There we go. You can type anything. Hello. Right, and there we go. So all you got to do is link that up then and it will be all good. Now, the last one, sync, um, this one, I realize I haven't properly explained that yet, but this one is for talking, which we'll go over next lesson, um, but it kind of links with what this one is. Um, this one will allow you to change the character's emotion to either a happy state or frowny, you know, in fact, let's change that because to be honest, I'm not happy about that either. Angry, and let's make that one frown because ideally, I think I started off with them laid out and then I just plopped them in and didn't really think about it. So, there we go. Um, obviously, you want extremes, so at one end, he's really happy, at one end, he's really angry, you know, neutral wise, you could frown or he could smile. So, you know, they're not big emotions like happy and angry, they're just kind of subtle emotions, you know, you're a little bit happy, you know, a little bit of a smile on you, or you know, you're a little bit cross, you know, so you've got a little bit of a frown. Um, so yeah, they remain neutral, and you can just move it left or right accordingly. Uh, and obviously, if you think if you did watch the last video correctly, you should have a little idea of how that's possible. Because obviously, all you've got to do is add a number of slave bones, pretty much probably most of the lower part of this face, 
obviously, do you know what, probably most of the bones, and, uh, you know, just move them accordingly with each state. You know, so for instance, we've got neutral now, this would be neutral. If you move it to happy, then change all these points to a happy position. So, you know, you'll be able to refine it more when it's skinned, but it'd give you an idea if you did it now. Um, which is what I really want to go through with you. Um, also, I'll go through the eyelid just once more to make sure that's got. Okay? Right, well, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to first link all these bones here to our cat rig, which has been hidden all this time, but now we can unhide it. Um, I suppose to make things a little bit easier, let's unfreeze that and hide our body. So we should be able to see everything. Now, if you remember back to the last video, linking is pretty straightforward. Um, all you've got to do is select that up there and then click on firstly the object that you want to connect and then secondly the object you want to connect it to. So if we link all these off, no doubt I will miss something. Yeah, before I forget. Okay. So I'm clicking them all to the head here. And what this will allow it to do, this will allow all the bones to move with the head. So they are truly connected to it. And this is all kind of all bone. Yeah, this is literally what bones do. At some point, I know I'm going to make a little error here. Uh, almost there. Unless I've missed one. Just to make sure. It doesn't hurt to always do them twice. If you... There we go. Right. I could always do the little test, couldn't I? I could just rotate it. And there we go. I have missed one. I knew I'd do that. What have I missed? Right centre lip. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. Done. Okay, so the whole head removed. See? <laughs> That's it, all nicely linked up. Right, so the next part of what we're going to do is we're going to go and start moving things you know, using Reaction Manager. So I ain't going to bother turning the skin back on. Um, there, there's no point at this point. Uh, we might as well leave it off so we can see everything that's going on. And we obviously, if we create a smile, it's only going to be rough. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to totally see, uh, affect the face or see if it, it looks correct until we actually skin these bones to the face. But for now, you know, it'll give us an idea and it'll give you an idea. So I'll only do happy because I think it's all I need to show you to get the point. So let's start this. Okay, so let's first open the action manager. And here it is. And of course, we're going to add a master, and that is this. It is on position, and we can make sure it should be on position Y. Yeah, it's on position Y. So we can add that. Transform position Y. Okay. Now, we need to add quite a lot of the slaves here, so we can use add selected in this case. Select over all of them, every single point that we want to affect by this. And seeing as it's a smile, if I switch over to uh, this here, I've got a few examples but uh, that I'll put on Blackboard. But if we have a look at smile, you can see that nearly everything is affected. So 
especially down here, your cheeks move up, uh, all of your mouth widens slightly, uh, your bottom lip, it, it goes wider, uh, it, everything seems to change, so we've got to bring in all the bones that will bring those changes in. Okay, so let's go add selected, transform, and we're going to do all of the positions, so I've got to do this three times, Y position and Z position. Right, okay, so we've got a default state, I'll delete any that it's created, okay, and just create a brand new one. There we go, so this would be our first one. So, move that up to happy and create a new one. Scroll down and find that. So here it is, state 5, and go to edit mode. Now we've got to move things so we end up with a happy face. Obviously, as I said, we can do it when, when we skinned it, we can adjust it and tweak it. For now, we just want to get it roughly okay. So, side bits need to go up, and we'll need to go out a little bit. Subsequently, so will this. Your nostril ones also go up, they flare slightly, and the ones up by your eyelids will also. Okay, and your cheekbones, not so much, but a little bit. And your jaw ones, where your cheeks are, definitely will. In fact, it will also come out just a tiny bit, also. Your lips down here, so your lips will straighten more. And will definitely come up. And your bottom ones, they will spread like so and drop. As we you draw slightly. And with the jaw, it also in order to make it move out, it's probably gonna come down a little bit and back. As I said, that's probably one of the main areas which will need adjusting when it comes to it. Uh, and we can also give our eyebrows a little bit of emotion too. So when we're smiling, they might go up slightly. And there we go. Turn off edit mode. And there we go, you can see the difference. So if it was skinned, you'd see that your character go from a neutral face to a smiley face. And you might have to over <coughs> exaggerate that more once you have actually skinned it. But it should look alright. You know, when you, it gives you something to test when you're skinning it as well to make sure everything's working correctly. Yeah, so angry is the same, exactly the same. To do any of the facial expressions is exactly the same. Um, you know, and when we get to the mouth movement, the same principle again. Um, the difference with the next video, we just going through foamies, uh, foamies, sorry, and just uh, looking at the different mouth shapes. Uh, and we'll go through an example again. Um, but for the most part, that is it. I did say I'd do the eyelid, so, I'll do that very quickly, um, just to kind of refresh your heads on the last video. So we'll go back into Reaction Manager. Okay, that selects that. That'll be our master one. Okay, so transform point Y position. So this is the upper eyelid. Okay, so let's go down. So this will try. Add slave. I'm going to rotate it. Now, a key thing to look out for 
check your rotation. Okay, so it is on the X there. Um, but just to make sure, make that parent, and you can see actually it's different. So it's actually the blue one, it's on Z. Yeah, it almost caught me out, uh, but it hasn't. Ha ha ha. So, rotation, Z rotation, nice try. Okay, and what we're going to do, of course, is the because it's only one end to the other, we'll just create an extreme, so all the way down, and we will rotate this with the edit mode on down 45 degrees. If I've got that correct, just now looking on the face of it, I might not have, and I haven't. Ah, goofed. Get everything correct and then that I get wrong. Okay, so it turns out it wasn't said. It was what I thought it was originally. Let's take it right the way back. I thought it was X. Why did you lie to me? Uh, change that to local. Ah, still comes up Z. Weird. So it does only work in world mode then. <laughs> right. Okay, so it seems that on the bones, view seems to be the true one. Something that I've always got mixed up with. Um, rotation, and then that means it's actually X, as I thought it was. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll do that. So I'll move that back up, recreate that state. There we go, move it down, create that state. Uh, turn on edit mode would help. That's more like it. Okay. There we go. See? Relatively straightforward. The same with eyes, you know, you could do your eyes, you can as well then move them at the same time by just doing that so you could look around but that's what I'm going to make your task so that's what I want you to do um, the rest of you to figure out because obviously this is all you need to know to do this you can see it's a bit fully don't be afraid to be wrong you know I've made a few mistakes in doing this um, you know but there are only little mistakes you can fix them very easily um, give it a go okay right till the next time.